any uh, voice?
by uh, by the Mystic River team to, to start the match. However, let, let's see if we can continue to attack the line. And now the uh, the feed seems like it's live, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're back. The ref for today is Kat Roche, the first female ref to ref an MLR game. Yeah, kick out on the full there, Derek. So five meters scrum for Old Blue directly in front of the sticks, five meters out. Uh, let's see. I was calling it uh, two weekends ago. 8 9 15. 8 9 15. 8 9 let's see if we can get the old special. 15 here to JP and Eric Naposki down the uh, right hand touchline. I think we may have the first points of the match. All right. And so, for any fans that don't know, one of the new rules here is that if you are held up in the try, the opposing team will have to kick, have a drop kick from their own try line and so since that went out on the full old blue will now get the ball right under the sticks short arm penalty and we're off to the races their advantage strong traffic there look trevor cassidy might be in Derek. let's see what the maybe looking to see if there was a penalty from here, could be a double movement, I think, unfortunately. Let's see. And they're going to give that try awarded. Just as you said, it looked like Trevor Cassidy was the one that put it in. But speaking of Trevor Cassidy, let's go ahead and share Old Blue's roster with you all. So as you can see here, the starting 15, we have Jamal Hadley, Steve Martinez, Jimmy Sheridan, Johan Mantilla, Trevor Cassidy, who just scored, Evan Minturn, Manate Akwe, Luke Watts, and that rounds out the forwards. And then we go on to Connor McManus, Connor Wallace Sims, Eric McCloskey, Will Leonard, Sunday Ajay, Akinola Raymond, and JP Aguirre. We'll share the Mystic one in the next stoppage of play. Yeah, great passage of play there from Old Blue. Obviously, three minutes into the game, getting first points, coming off back-to-back uh, -back feats, defeat, sorry, so far uh, in their first few outings in the uh, championship or the, you know, formerly known as the ARP. So, obviously, looking to come away with uh, with the win today. Yeah, and Luke, for you that got a chance to see that life match up, what were some of the takeaways from Old Blue on that side? Yeah, look, look, really, they were doing exactly what Mystic is doing right now. Uh, error after error, compounding on top of errors. They just weren't able to get into really any flow. Mm. Uh, some great individual brilliance by certain people, but no flow as a team because they were compounding mistakes time and time again. So now Old Blue with another chance to strike on their 50. Ball in play. See some of their set piece work here. Connor Wallace Sims having himself quite a season already, but being able to convert was the big thing at least from the Nyack match and the life one. So Old Blue still searching for a W here, but they seem to have started off on the right foot. It's going to be about continuing that. You can see to the left-hand side here, very, very interesting formation. It's it's 4v2 or 2v2, but a strong push here for Mystic. Big push there. Wow. Big momentum shift. Yeah, Mystic. very, very strong scrum there by Mystic. Mystic needing that momentum on their side as you see them immediately erupt. It looks like it could be a long day for Old Blue in the forwards of the set piece. Indeed. Derek. So now Mystic, after the penalty, looks like they're just outside the 22. Looking to throw in. Mystic with a five man line out, moves straight into a mall. Oh, with great momentum, powering forward Excellent here. Excellent momentum. Old Blue set piece getting tested early on here. And it looks like they're going to be able to plow themselves all the way in for the score. And that looked to be about 30 meters of a mall. 
And as you can clearly see, Mystic's going to want to keep that ball in the forwards. Yeah, clearly asserting their dominance early in the set piece with their forwards. Um, you know, I think Old Blue showed their hand nice and early, side to side, playing with the width of rugby, utilising their potent attacking weapon, which is their outside backs. Indeed. But uh, it, it just seems like if Old Blue doesn't tighten up their forwards, you know, doesn't work together, it's going to be a long day at the office. Indeed. And that's a big momentum shift even for the forwards to kind of see that set piece working like that on Mystic's behalf. So Old Blue's going to have to respond in kind with their own set of forwards in their pack. They're going to have to really show up in these next few minutes, especially if they don't want Mystic driving it down, using their forwards, really tiring out Old Blue's forwards as the game goes on. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried at this point. Um, you know, the team look connected underneath the post. Um, looks like they're regrouping well. They've obviously got a game plan here. Um, if it's anything to go head to head with the forwards, it probably needs to change. <laughs> um, but, but that being said, I think if they stick to their game plan, they kick long, they play possession, try and nullify the forwards momentum, uh, it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So we'll see if they can stick to that game plan for this one as Wallace Sims kicks off. High, high ball. Taken by Mystic in the air. Mystic boots it back. Wallace Sims takes it in the air. Immediate contact to a J. And he's almost free there. Flips a high ball over to the wing. Looks to be like Naposki there. Mystic trying to Really smother. strong defense here from Mystic River. For Mystic, the set piece is one thing, but the ruck defense is another, priding themselves around the breakdown. As we see a break here, from Naposki taking down the sideline. Now it's Old Blue with a bit of footwork here. On the front foot, Hadley catching one in traffic. Out the back to Raymond. Doing a good job to stay in bounds. Strong carry there. McManus to Hadley. Powerful runs from Old Blue right now. Loops it over the top, right in the contact. Mystic needing to get out of their own end now. They decide to boot it. Finds the turf. JP with plenty of space ahead of him. Let's see what he does. And a miss kick. It. That block kick now gives Mystic now on the front foot. Sweeping pass. Unbelievable hit by a J, and it looks like he was offsides, according to Roche. Yeah, just a sloppy exit there from Mold Blue. There was plenty of space ahead of him. I'd, I'd love to see JP, you know, use his feet use his back three. So I've just got Naposki, great feet, Raymond, great feet, and Wallace Sims will be back there as the 10 cover as well. So I'd like to see them keep the ball in hand there, play to an edge or bounce back to his short side, but they should be able to find a little bit of space and really, you know, start you know, pre presenting an attacking threat, essentially. Indeed. It's about Old Blue being able to utilize those weapons because they know they have them. It's about putting them in the space, making some great decisions with them. And so because Mystic kicked it out, out of the end zone. Old Blue now has a 22 dropout with Wallace Sims to take the kick. Could be a potential missed opportunity for Mystic. Take it just inside the 50. Couple slip tackles. Mystic now with the offload. Stolen away from Old Blue. Old Blue now. Plenty of space in the backfield here, Derek, if we can get a good Let's box kick over. 
and they're gonna say that was a knock on first. Yeah, definitely the right idea there, as we can see where the ball rolls into touch. Yep. Five metres out from the try line, that's what we want, but uh, seems like a knock on both ways there, going yeah. back for the first one against Mystic. Indeed. So now Old Blue finding their way out of a potentially hairy situation there. See if they'll be able to respond. Yeah, Derek, as you can see here, once again, very interesting picture that they're offering Old Blue with the with the 13 playing both shallow and Pretty not wide. with width. Yeah. So there's plenty of space here if Old Blue can get it to the edge uh, into, you know, through Will Leonard's hands to JP and Aki Raymond. Probably about 20 metres in space here down the short side with a three on one. Indeed, and you've got a lot of speed out there too. And again, they're going to, I think Mystic's really kind of hinging on Adnan Karuma's really just his, his defense and they're going to put them under the pump for for these next few minutes to see how he how he can handle that challenge yeah Adnan number 12 for Mystic obviously seasoned veteran of club rugby been with Mystic for probably over 10 years at this point uh, very very solid defender but he does have some miles in his legs so laterally probably not going to be able to move as fast as as he'd like compared to some of the younger guys here on old blue so we can use the width, we can see what we can what can happen. See how they decide to go with it. It's a short arm penalty, but because he didn't pick it up, has to be tapped from the hand. Aquay running directly into contact. Missed it. Playing around in that ruck a little bit, slowing the ball down, which works to their advantage. As Lucas pointed out, ton of speed. And that old blue setup. It looks like they're holding them up, stolen away, offload, into touch. So while they get set up here, let's go ahead and share out Mystic's roster. Oh, they decided to go quick. Wallace Sims. Great kick by Connor there. Plenty. Looks like it's just going to roll a little and bit too, too deep. deep. And they'll be taking that from the spot of the kick. Great head on his shoulders, unfortunate execution. Looks like they're going to go ahead and take the scrum. Yeah, fortunate for us, he kicked it from the 40 and the ref spotted it from the 50. <laughs> giving, so. her, giving him a generous spot from yeah, the kick. Giving us an extra 10 yards, so we'll definitely take that. But uh, yeah, just uh, I think really good heads up play from Connor there. Plenty of space in the backfield, good chase from the outside men as well. Just unfortunately, he pulled out. A fetal too, too deep. Very, very close. But uh, as you know, inches in rugby, whether executing or not. Indeed. And that turf is going to always have a favorable bounce. So now Mystic takes it off the tips of his fingers into the hands of Old Blue now with a bit of space. Old Blue threatening, decides to go same way into Aquay's hands, who can always be dangerous. Footwork on show here. Old Blue now back in the red zone. Last time they were here, they walked away with a score. Let's see if they can reproduce. Watts. Taken in by Johan. Back inside. Missing defense is, is doing a great job really sealing off some of those options and making their one-on-one -on -one tackles at the moment. Yeah, great pick and go there from Minate. Fords are carrying strong, holding the ball, but exciting defense at the same time from Mystic River. Ball over the top here. Excellent oh, beautiful work. Beautiful ball. You couldn't ask for a better setup as Sunde Ajayi gets in for the second score of the night from Old Blue. Yeah, as you'll see from that one, Derek, uh, Sunde was hiding there inside Wallace Sims. Um, you know, so you couldn't see him pop out, you couldn't see him in the line. Looked like he was going to throw a face ball in front to the defenders on the outside. Connor Wallace Sims done what they call the double pump. You know, pump wide first, hold it to the last minute, engage that defender. And then you had Sundar coming around off his left shoulder, hitting that nice short ball. And uh, some good footwork at the end as well to get it closer to underneath the sticks. Indeed. So Wallace Sims here to take the kick for Old Blue. And as we get set up here, I'm going to go ahead and share the Mystic roster. So Kyle Sequeira, 
at prop, TJ Downing, Seth Fagasi, Cody David Davidowitz with Cam Davidowitz, Jack Palusek, Devin Andreas Ibanez, Justin Johnson, Ian Luciano, Holden Younger, Pacelli Rinakama, Adnan Kawuma, Isaiah Lopez, Mitch Wilson, and Nick Fujiwara rounding off the starting side for Mystic. So we can see how quickly Old Blue can capitalize off of some of the mistakes. So Luke, in your opinion, what do they just need to focus on now for defense? Yeah, look, I think I don't think Old Blue's defense is is bad, to be completely honest with you. I think what we have is a very strong forward pack here from, from Mystic. They do have a lot of experience um, in the MLR with their forward pack, about three Indeed. or four, um, as well as their backs. You have both wings uh, starting their MLR teams. Uh, the 10 for Mystic River also, Holden Jungert. He's uh, the starting scrum half for NOLA. Um, so th they've got some really good experience out there. Uh, look, I, I don't think they have to do anything too crazy. I think we're going to match them for back power. And I just think our forwards need to step up and be physical, and we should be good to go. Agreed. So after the knock on there, Mystic now with a chance to strike. Coming off the scrum. You can see the formation from Mystic. Doesn't really necessarily show anything offensively, but they do like to do a lot of Double, dummy switch passes, things, flat balls, really trying to hit up some of their their uh, their wings, get them into space, and Old Blue's just going to have to respond in kind. Yeah, there's not too much depth here from their attacking options. My, I'm expecting either just probably a, a 12 crash off the 10 here, to be honest with you, or, or possibly a dummy switch, or keep it in the forwards and keep rolling forward. But a turnover ball here with Old Blue in play. Yep. Turnover there. Looking to get out of their own end. Needing to stay strong. That that push in the ruck forced the knock on. And so now Mystic gets another chance. Yeah, just disappointing there. Old Blue do very well to turn over the scrum, especially when we know they've established a very strong set piece. And unfortunately, our, our pod's just not there stable and strong, and, and we have a little knock-on, a little bobble there by Conor McMabbas, scrum half. And that's something that Mystic prides themselves on, that ruck defense, that ruck offense, really really securing it early on. And they've, they're coming straight out of the gate, really kind of making a, a name for themselves in this game as well. Yeah, look, physical, right? Physicality. Um, they're Boston boys. <laughs> rough and tough and rumble you know so look at that they are who they are um you know physical they, they they won't waver or take a step backwards but old blue will definitely be up to the challenge so luciano outside of the scrum here flat ball into the back line of the defense old blue needing to respond here now and oh, it's a turnover i think derek by old blue i think a penalty to us i agreed Holding on for too long. Excellent play in the ruck for Old Blue this time. Yeah, backslap seemed to be going uh, Evan Minton's way there. Uh, the big Irish-born Hulk. Uh, if you don't know Evan Minton, uh, had a stellar season this year with uh, Rugby United New York, uh, playing in between the back row and, and lock forward position. Uh, and it really going to be a huge asset here for Old Blue in uh, the Rugby Championship this season. Yeah, indeed. And you, you've pointed out now that there are a few MLR players that are on the field for the moment. How do you kind of balance that level of play with some of the local guys that are coming out, just going to practice, might not be able to be ready for the MLR setup just yet? Yeah, very difficult, Derek. Uh, first thing is don't yell at them like I used to. That's not productive. Um, look, it worked I, for me. <laughs> worked for some, not for many. Um, I think the most important thing is it helps the local players around them. It, it tends to actually uh, elevate the standard of um, training, elevate the standard of exposure that you're going to get because there's just individuals with a high caliber of experience. Um, but, but yeah, you, you've got to keep calm. You've got to be patient. Obviously, it's not going to be at a similar level to what you're used to. But look, the rugby championship and the AR, formerly the ARP, is quite a good standard, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I'd say out here, Old Blue has probably six or seven people with MLR experience and as does Mystic so it's not it's no slouch definitely even even out teams here as Wallace Sims looks to create a bit of space puts it yeah, high great kick from here from Connor 
And Dol Blue straight tackle. on here on defense. Let's see what we can do. Luciano decides to utilize the forwards here, just outside the 50. Quick box kick, puts it high into the sky here. And it looks like the refs are gonna consult with one another to see. And it looks like it's gonna be Mystic line out here. Yeah, very interesting there, Mitch Wilson on the wing, Australian born, current player for uh, DC. Uh, in the MLR, number 14 for Mystic. Went up, uh, you know, asserted his dominance in the air and then pulled out last minute, which threw JP off and uh, unfortunately was a knock on. Looks like it's going to be a scrum here to Mystic, attacking All Blues line at about 35. Yep. And so it, it looks like Mystic's really going to have to solidify their, their back line at the moment. Yeah, look, they're, they're not presenting, you know, too, too much to Old Blue. Uh, they're, not, no, they're not testing Old Blue too much in the backs. Uh, they definitely can with the, with the attacking power they Indeed. possess, uh, but they're not at the moment. So uh, I think if they can get the ball through the hands and do something, clearly their forwards are, are strong and, and they're very dominant at the moment. As we can see here, Old Blue's defense holding steady on Mystic. Luciano utilizing the forwards yet again. The knees on the ground, so he has to release. Backline getting utilized here. Adnan with his own carry. Managing to hit the deck. Didn't release fast enough there in contact. So Mystic now with the chance. Yeah, th think, think that's a pretty tough call there for, from the ref. Look, I, I understand he was holding on for probably a second, maybe a second too long, but... He was hitting contact, physical contact, body to body. He was looking to wrap up the ball. Then he goes to ground. You know, unfortunately, I think we need to be given a few seconds there to release the player. Uh, but a great touch finder there from, from younger, uh, experienced veteran of the MLR, uh, giving uh, obviously them a line at about two meters out. And I think we know where they're going to go, Derek. Yeah, exactly. This line. You're you're going to see that that mystic power in their forward ball. But that old blue line-out defense can't be slept on. Plenty of athletes to go up and potentially run interference here. But Mystic now knocking on the door. 